The secret to making a really good gingerbread house is, of course, having a perfect dough recipe. Right. Which needs to be really super strong. So I'm going to show you how we made that. OK. Um, I've got butter, golden syrup and brown sugar and orange juice in here. And, and orange juice? And, yeah, a bit of orange juice to give you the acid for your um, bicarb. Oh, right. I'm going to add some loads of brown ginger. Yeah. Mm. And some cinnamon. So that's going to give you the lovely taste and aroma. And then just whisk that in. That smells lovely. Yeah, it? It yes, all studio yeah. smells absolutely delicious this morning. And then I'm just going to add some bicarbonate of soda here and just give that a really good whisk. And you can see it's just going to puff up. And is that still on heat? I mean, um, still... I've turned the heat off now. It was right. just on a sort of low heat to start you with. You do it while it's warm. So I'm just going to, yeah, that's right. So just really give it a whisk so that can kind of encourage the bicarb to puff up. Pour it into your, uh, your mixing bowl. Yeah. Allow it to cool. How long will it take for that to start puffing up like that? Um, I'll just I'll whisk it for about a minute or so, and All then right. it will just really puff up and go kind of like much paler. You can see it's kind of starting to go now, and then once it's kind of gone a nice pale colour, pour it in, allow it to cool down to room temperature. Yeah. And then I'm going to chuck in my flour. I don't think I've ever made gingerbread before like this. Well, it's it's quite kind of it's having the hot mix and the, yeah. the flour. It's a bit unusual, but it really does give make you make a difference. A love, yeah, exactly. So. Just make sure that's on tightly. I like your blender, look at that. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? So I'm just going to put that on low. Awesome so we're say. just going to mix it up. When it comes together, you'll see it's a nice kind of gloopy, doughy ball. Right. And what you need to do is just pop it in some cling film and chill it for about two hours in the fridge so it comes nice and stiff and then you can roll it out. You want and to then you're ready to start making your shape. Exactly. So you could even do it the day before and just leave it in the fridge so it's all ready to go. All right. As you can see, it's coming together now. Yeah, and you're getting that lovely gingerbread that we know and exactly. recognise then. So you can see it's kind of quite soft. So when, when you sort of chill it down, it'll, it will come stiff so you okay. can roll it out. So I've rolled it out here um, and I've got a template. So I'm going to cut around here. Now, while I'm doing that, would you guys like to decorate We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We've made some earlier. Right. So I think oh, it's wow. the fun bit. 